Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my cancers. And this is going to be for the week of the 9th through the 15th of April. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot cards. So Cancer, let's see what we have for you. So Cancer, this is going to be for you. The Three of Cups. The Page of Swords. Waiting for a message. Spying on somebody. Or are you being very alert because you think someone is spying on you? Nine of Cups. <clears throat> Ten of Cups. Your wishes come true. Happy family or happiness in love. Seven of Swords. Feel kind of defeated and... Like you're just going to say, if you're going to back away from it, you know. The Six of Pentacles, however, you're balanced. Maybe because you backed away. Even though you felt defeated, you know, you backed away. You said you had enough. The Page of Wands. Some happiness coming your way. The Three of Wands. You're expecting it. The Six of Swords. Moving to calmer waters. On top of the Three of Cups, I got the Two of Swords and the Six of Wands. There's some happiness of a decision that you made. You At first, you couldn't make the decision. You're, you just couldn't make up your mind. But it seems like you did make the decision and you were successful. And there was some kind of celebration. But now... You got some kind of recognition. And now people may be looking at you or someone might be looking at you. I got the Queen of Pentacles and I got the Four of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles is about fertility and prosperity and stuff. She's what I call the money manager also. She knows about business and she can handle herself. She has a... Just likes, you know, money. Um, this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And the Four of Pentacles, it could be that you're holding on to something too tightly. It could be a person or it could be material things. Or maybe right now you need to learn how to budget your money or you are budgeting your money. Because things are just a little tight. So that's the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Oh, you're wishing for something. Or your wishes come true. What is that?
you moving on from something. Hmm. It's kind of confusing here. You're moving on from something, but yet you're going towards ab uh, abundance. I got uh, a new beginning. Because it seemed like you got happiness. You had to make a decision. You got recognized for something. And it seems like it was something good. I mean, this is the Six of Wands. This is like victorious. Then you got the Page of, um, the page of Swords. Which could be clarity as well. Maybe you got some kind of clarity where the Queen of Pentacles was concerned. And now you're holding on to your money. Maybe you... Something to do with money. Or something that you found out. I don't know. Something... Some clarity came. But you decided that, well, I think I want to walk away. And you got the... Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. You reached your limit, and you're going to withdraw. Maybe you're just going within yourself to look within. And there you shall find the abundance that you're looking for, the new beginning. Maybe you'll become very creative. Maybe there's a new relationship at hand for you. You just don't know. Let's see. The Ten of Cups. On top of the Ten of Cups comes the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. You have some extra responsibilities. Some extra worries or something. Something is weighing you down. It's the same old thing, day in and day out, you know, and you want to get away from it. You're going to have some new ideas. You got the Ace of Cups here, abundance, new beginnings, maybe new romance, love, happiness, celebration. Maybe you'll have some clarity somewhere along there too, because you're about to have some more clarity here. You got the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. You're going to have new ideas and your mind is going to be pretty clear. And you're going to be a, around a loving environment. But here's the Seven of Swords. Now remember, life is up and down. The thing is, is how we handle the downs. That's what we have to be aware of. Seven of Swords. Above the Seven of Swords comes the Two of, two of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles. You have a choice. With these new ideas you're going to get, you're going to have a choice. And it might lead to something new, a new career, an increase in your income, or a new job. And with that, you're going to have Balance, the Six of Pentacles. See, the thing about life from my perspective is that we need to always keep our dreams alive. We need to keep it. We need to see it and feel it. And no, one second, please. Sorry about that. So, um, along with the Page of Pentacles and the possible increase in your income, maybe a new job, um, comes the Six of Pentacles above the Six of Pentacles. So there's some something coming that's going to give you balance, giving and receiving. And it might be coming from someone from the past here. I got the Six of Pentacles and I got the Six of Cups. This might have to do with family or some kind of reunion or something. It's going to have to do with happiness and choices. Are you ready? Gonna bring you happiness. I got the page of wands here. This is some good energy. This is some fiery energy. I got the three of um the three of wands here and the death card. It 
seems like you're longing for something. Maybe you're longing to go on a vacation. Maybe you're about to travel somewhere, go somewhere. I have, like I said, the three of wands and the death card. There's some kind of change that's going to come. And it's going to, the change is going to, whatever the happiness is, it's going to bring change and some desires to go somewhere. Whatever it is, you're planning it. And I say you're looking forward to it. The three of wands. Three of wands again. And the death card. I don't know if I showed you these two cards. The three of wands and the de death card. Um, just means change. The end of a cycle and the beginning of something new. So all of this is leading up into something new for you. The emperor and the devil. Stop looking behind you at the past, okay? Look forward. If you need to look behind, that means you have things you need to heal. If the past is triggering you, that means you need to heal. Now, healing does not mean that we're going to forget everything that has happened. Healing just means we're going to go back there. We're going to face our, our fears, traumas, and everything else. And we can bring our so that, that young self back here with us. Okay? And when we bring her back here, we're going to start looking forward. By looking forward, like I said, it doesn't mean we not going to be triggered by the past. But every time, the more and more we heal, and every time we're triggered, that past is not going to be in the forefront the way it was. And we're not going to react in a negative way we're going to learn how to take care of ourselves in that aspect okay so the devil could signify that as well about taking care of the past letting go of crap because you got the emperor here but yet you still got the devil over you you know something depressing you something keeping you down you know something not good in your environment it could be your thoughts okay and you want to move to calmer waters and you are going to be moving to calmer waters I got the five of um I got the five of cups and the hierophant. <clears throat> the five of cups is some kind of loss and sadness and grief, you know. Um sometimes when we do face the past, it does bring on those emotions. And it's fine to have emotions. Nothing is wrong with that. Okay, it doesn't mean we're weak. <laughs> Come on now. Cry it out, let it out. Because sometimes when we move on, that stuff we let go, it feels like if we're letting go of something that's, that's a, has been like, like a comforter to us, so to speak. Which in it hasn't been doing nothing but keeping us down. So we feel a little sad when we let go of something that was abusive or something that was bad for us. But guess what? We come right back. He bunks back. And with that came the Hierophant. Oops. So the Hierophant, the card says, I choose which traditions I embrace and how I do it. You have a lot of um, traditional um, values. And then... By moving or by coming to terms with what you need to come to terms with in your past, you shall move forward. Both emotionally and physically, you shall see things start changing for you. I got the Knight of Pentacles. So be patient with yourself, okay? And just keep going and don't give up. I love you. You take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.